What's going on guys? So I I just wanted to jump on and, and kind of give you guys an explanation for these the, the, the latest videos that I, I put up. I <clears throat> I make so many videos that I, I, I assume that I made a video about my job and the things that I've been dealing with up there, but I don't think that I have really. Um, so let me just give you some backdrop on uh, some of the things that I've been dealing with and why this particular incident with this guy, my manager, walking up to me. And I mean, it, I'm so on fire. I'm so on fire. <laughs> but he walks up, well, anyway. So everyone knows if you're if you're dealing with gang stalking, you know what goes on when you when you have a, a job and you're when you're at work how these people follow you in, they get hired at the same time as you will. This guy happened to already be working there and he started uh, perping me. And the reason why I know that he's a gang stalker, he's not just some regular weirdo, is he has the app on his phone. And they all have certain behaviors that they, that they exhibit when they're gang stalking you. There's just, it's just, obvious shit one of those things is following you to the restroom they'll follow you to the restroom to, and go into the opposite restroom when you go into the restroom and they typically do that because they're looking at their phone and they're watching video of you going to the restroom on their phone <laughs> now I don't know if any, any of you guys have experienced this but this is something that I've been dealing with for about three or four years what I've noticed <clears throat> I'll go to the restroom and then someone will go into the opposite restroom. There's a female that I work with as well who did the same thing. She went into the man's bathroom because I was in the female one. And she's also participating in being uh, gang stalking me. And this happened maybe two weeks after I was working there. So he's perping me and one night it was him and this other uh ghetto hood rat uh who was adamant about trying to impede my being able to get the orders out so they were laughing and joking around and we, we had cars wrapped around the building i mean we were busy and they're playing around and being stupid and, you know, being uncooperative and moving real slow, handing out the wrong orders. And where I work, the food's not cheap. You could probably buy three or four items and, it, and it'll run you about $50. And so they're giving out these expensive orders, all this expensive food for free. Just so they're, you know, trying to get on my nerves or trying to, you know, cause me some kind of headache so I began talking to them and I was like hey you guys need to stop you know messing around stop playing around stop clowning around or whatever get serious so we can get these orders out now I'm an employee and I'm telling the manager this I'm talking to the manager and having to tell him this 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 guy this that just came in here he's been with the company for 10 years I it's from what I've heard and you're over here joking around, which again, confirmation, gang stalker, gaslighting, you know, trying to provoke. So once I started like basically getting in his shit and speaking truth, he got agitated and was like, well, you guys need to stop. You need to be quiet. You need to be quiet. Just stop talking. Stop talking. Don't tell me to stop talking. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't tell me to be quiet. I said, no, I'm not going to stop talking. I'm going to keep telling you what needs to be done because you obviously think this is some sort of a game. And so he kept threatening, saying that I needed to be quiet or he was going to call the, the um, area manager. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Call the area manager. Call her. But that wasn't good enough. So then he starts threatening to call the police. Now, you know why he threatened to call the police? Because he already knows what kind of problems I'm already having with the police. And he knows that if the police were to come up, they would find some way, whether it was just or unjust, 
to put me in a police car or to handcuffs on me or to put, do something, you know, violent. Because once it's done, it's done. You take them to court, you can do this, that, and the third, but once it's done, it's done. So this is what he understands, this is what he knows, so he was just egging, trying to get the police up, get it involved, and try to embarrass me, try to put me in some sort of a, you know, real low vibrational state of mind. That was a, like the fourth thing that was confirmation to me, that this motherfucker is a gang stalker. So, the other day, uh, I've been informed that there have been some complaints against me, not by customers, but by my coworkers, management. And I was, uh, there was, you know, some, some things said, some things done. The, the moral of the story is, he knows I don't fuck with him, and he doesn't fuck with me. I began not fucking with him when I realized that he's a fucking piece of shit, gang stalker. So for him to come up to me in public, and you know, this is crazy because I know <laughs> there's a higher power that's, that's controlling me because um, if I had been in my mind, the mind that I'm typically in, there would have been such a scene in here. There would have been such a scene in here. But that's the way it always happens. And they always catch me where I'm just like, you know, like, shocked. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? You walking up to me talking about, like, me fucking friend? I mean... And then this is what he said verbatim. What are you doing over here? I thought you lived down that way. You're over here in my area, my neighborhood. I've never, ever seen this humpback, bubble-eyed, Gomer Powell-looking motherfucker ever over here. And I've come over here and spent time over here for the last two years. And when I first got up here, I was over here quite a bit. Never seen him. In the entire time that I've worked at my job, never seen him over here. And so I'm looking at him like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I was looking down at my phone and I saw everything out of my peripheral, him coming in and looked right over at me and came straight over to me as soon as he walked in the door. The doors are right there. And as soon as he walked his humpback ass in the door, he was looking over here and came right over here. And it's all in my face. <laughs> so, this encounter was nothing small. It's actually telling how bold he is to pop up and to come up and talk to me. And it was an underlying threat, like letting me know I know where you are no matter where you go. Because that's how he operates. He's a real pussy. Like all of them are fucking cowards. Always doing that double talk and you know talking in code and doing shit in the dark. But the one good thing about it is that keep fucking with me. I know who you are. You're not someone that's obscure. I'm gonna fuck your ass up. I promise.